Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday here, 23 of July. Summer markets uh, are in play, sort of overlaid with a uh, bearish dollar theme, but slow going, right? You know, we had uh, we had a nice move on Tuesday, uh, and then some follow through yesterday, but pretty slow going elsewhere. Dollar yen stuck in the mud, cables trying, grasping for higher, but it's a hard slog. Yesterday, uh, down to 126.50 before we regain the 127 handle and cable. Really, this is a Euro show um, and the commodity currencies. So let's, let's just take a look first at the Euro. Um, obviously, uh, barriers at 116 were done yesterday. 01 the high. Here we are at the highs again um, at 85, but 20 point range last night. You can see it on the hourly. There's not really much going on at all. Uh, I guess one thing to note is very little pain, no pain on this. 08, the low after 115 broke. Uh, haven't even been really below 115.50. So we have some longs that are intact here. And so you had a watch position sizing here. But we like, we like this higher. We think this is going to go probably up to 123. So... We're going to stick with this theme, trying to be short dollars, uh, long euros. A couple of my friends are telling me to be long euro yen. I'm not really buying it. Don't really like it. We're very familiar with 124.43. That was that magic uh, risk five points to make 500 uh, moment. 124.50, they're should be resistance again the first time um, we'll see we'll see what happens up there cable as we talked about this is the hardest uh, currency to be long just because of the uh, the silliness that is everything sterling 127.67 the high it gets pretty interesting above 128.09. When we're up there, it's definitely going to feel awkward. Your knee jerk will be, we should sell this. It's come too far. I would suggest you ignore your knees. Um, in this case, maybe grab your balls or something and just buy through the highs. Whatever you need to do. We don't judge here at Privateer. Um, sterling yen it's kind of the same idea as these uh, smart Alex that I know who, who like to buy euro, euro yen they're basically saying dollar yen stuck and so it's a uh, sterling yen is a proxy of cable euro yen is a proxy of euro dollar may or may not be true I don't understand it I'm not buying it I'm just sharing sharing the info with you guys um, anyway sterling in 139.78 is kind of looks like a trap up there but that's kind of the important range highs but we do have some clear air even even up through here 136.64 we are not playing that game but just sharing the usual suspects were out yesterday with the Euro Aussie call um, we are watching this very, very closely. We do like Euro Aussie higher, uh, but we do want equities to turn before we get involved in that. Equities have not turned. They have just stalled. They could go either way here. They're just stalled. So bears, take that banana in your pants and, and put, it, uh, put it to rest. Bulls, same thing. We're just stalled. Um, this could go either way in equities, but if it does, equities do go down, um, Euro Aussie is your horse. Dollar CAD, 
again, no real pain here. We did get up to 79 um, yesterday. I'm sorry, we got up to 83. Anyone clever uh, sold that. Um, we did not, but we've been short dollar CAD since Tuesday, so it's fine. This can go further. Um, this kind of reminds me of Euro, a dollar Norway when we were looking for a dollar to sell that didn't have the uh, psychosis that Euro has. Um, and with oil now, like just sort of hanging around up, uh, up at these levels, 4205 today, um, the picture in Canada looks just simpler, right? It's simpler than Euro. The picture in Euro is not simple. It'll never be simple. All of these countries, different languages, different fiscal outlooks, no real unity. There's no unity in Europe. Um, take it from me, I live here 28 years. Um, so anyway, is CAD a more straightforward asset to own if you want to sell dollars? Gold, obviously, is the obvious one. Um, like I say every day, we are not long gold, but it just keeps chugging. Uh, and like often happens in these moves, the cleanest, best moves happen between sort of in the last third of the move. So the first 60% of this move, let's call it from, I don't know, 113.50 to 118. That 500 bucks, it's the first 60% of this move. Now the next 30% of this move which will be the next 300 bucks to say 2100, 2200, 2300. Um, it's actually a lot cleaner because there's just, there are no, people are afraid to sell and then the people who do sell leave tight stops and the stops get done. Uh, this is sort of what happens in markets. So here we are, two very clean uh, strong bullish bars there in, in gold. Um, if you're not long, I would be careful paying 1875 for your first longs. But um, voila, gold is bullish. This just helps us with our story. Uh, short dollars. Bitcoin is is stuck here. One of these days, this is going to really pile higher. Um, but it could also screw people lower one more time it is bitcoin after all um, but if you believe in this sort of watered down dollar story or if you believe in this watered down fiat currency story which it's not really it's not whether you believe it or not it is actually true the supply of global fiat is just insane um, bitcoin is the natural choice but Bitcoin is a funny sort of, I would say, rigged market. Bunch of whales swimming around in that tank, uh, doing whatever they want to do. No regulation. So be careful with Bitcoin. Um, but Bitcoin should, should go higher. Uh, anyway, saying a lot today, um, but we're not really diving in on any specific levels here. We're just trying to remain... Um, Four short dollars. Let's look at equities. Bunch of highs up here now, and sort of at sort of seventy. Is this going to float higher? Probably now. Um, no conviction here for this. We're just using it as kind of a bellwether for for some currency trades. Um, but crude's above forty-two bucks. We had our chance to go lower. We did print that 28 low. Um, which was really kind of like the, which is now a pivot, but which was really like the test of the break up through 32, 32, 32. Um, and it held. 
So I would argue next time through there, that's a very good place to get short, 32.27. Uh, but for now, probably go sideways here. Surely we'll test this top side a little bit, maybe squeak through here up to 3,300. We talked about it before. The last gap to fill is 33.40, 33.39. If you like apples, I'd sell there. Um, let's look at Nazi. Oh, it's NQ, sorry. I talked about our little clown level here, 11060. It's kind of a cool number. Uh, it's fun to say. Uh, it's fun to make stories about it. I don't think we're going to get through this. Um, it's just intuition. I don't, I don't even know why. But this is a double top now. There will be pre, there will be itchy bears who are already short. So there will be stops above 11.060. And then there will be patient bears who will smack the pony down through 10.360. So that's what the chart's saying. What I'm saying is, have a good day trading. Remember, it is kind of summery still. Um, so keep your powder dry. It's not, um, it's not try and push our chips into the center of any tables here. The time for that will be sort of, I think, mid-August into the fall. Just grab some cash um, and be satisfied with that for now. Anyway, I've said enough of unsolicited advice. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.